Hello, good morning, dear friends. I welcome you all to this YouTube video channel, Fascinating English. Before we go through the entire content of this video, I request our viewers to read the disclaimer completely till the end and then proceed further. Dear friends, I welcome you all to this series 12 video of Fascinating English channel. In this video, we'll be discussing on the topic words exist in plural form only. In our series 10 video, I have told you about the words which exist in singular and plural forms in a different way. That means for a given object, singular word is different and plural word is different. But in our series 11 video, we have discussed about the words which are same both in singular form and also in plural forms. But in this current video, we will be discussing on the words which exist only in plural forms. That means there are no singular words for some objects or items. Let us take some examples to understand this situation in a much better way. Before we go to the actual examples, I request our viewers to watch the previous videos under this channel Fascinating English. Links to all those earlier videos have been provided in the description box. Now, without delaying much of our time, let us start studying the actual examples in which the words exist in plural form. Dear friends, to understand the scenario of the words which always exist in plural forms, we have taken different groups of examples. In each group, again, we have got different subsections. In the first group, we have got the first subsection, namely tools. Under the tools, we have got the words scissors, tongs and pliers. We don't call them as scissor, tong or plier because these words always come in plural forms. The second subsection, we have got eyewear items. The words which come under this category are goggles, binoculars and spectacles. Goggles and spectacles both are same. They are the glasses which are used to improve our eye vision. Binoculars are the objects which are used to see distant objects. We don't call them as goggle or binocular or spectacle because these words always exist in plural forms. In the next subcategory, we have got the garment items. They are leggings, jeans and pants. We don't call them legging or jean or pant because these words they always come in plural forms. So from these examples now it is clearly understood that there are some words which always exist in plural form only. In case of second group of examples, again we have got three subsections namely garments, miscellaneous items and sports items. Under garments, we have got the words shorts, knickers and trousers. We don't call them as short or knicker or trouser because all these items they come in plural forms only. In the next subcategory, we have got the words headquarters, electronics and species. We don't call as headquarter, electronic or species because these words they always come in plural forms. In another subcategory which comes under sports items, we have got aerobics, 
billiards and gymnastics we don't call it as aerobic or billiard or gymnastic so from these examples again it is clear that there are some words which always exist in plural forms in the last group of words we have got again three subsections under finance related we have got the words earnings funds and valuables we don't use the term called earning fund or valuable because these terms they come in plural forms only the next subsection under diseases related we have got the words measles mumps and shingles again all these they come in plural form only and the last subsection others we have got headphones outskirts and congratulations we don't use the term headphone we always speak it as headphones then there is nothing like outskirt it is always outskirts and again congratulations so from all these examples it is clearly understood that there are some words which always exist in plural form only dear friends before we conclude this video i want you people to do further research and find the words which always exist in plural form when once you find such words find out the meaning of those words and frame different sentences by adopting this methodology you will be in a better position to learn and remember more english words easily not only that whenever you have to do a conversation or frame a sentence or do a public speech you will be in a better and confident position to use the words which always exist in plural forms if the content of this video is more useful to you please give a like to this video also if any of our viewers have not become subscribers to this channel i request them to subscribe to this channel immediately and click on the bell icon also i request our viewers to share this video with their friends with other people and also on various forums thank you very much have a nice day see you very soon with a new type of content pertaining to the topic irregular plural words